Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's face shave and a product review. That's right, this is a different product. It's something I've never actually seen on the market. It came out, I saw it the day it came out. I grabbed it real quick because I knew it was something that I'd be interested in. Before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today is National Eggs Benedict Day. That's right. I did a video on this exact day last year. Same thing, Eggs Benedict Day. I love Eggs Benedict. You get the uh, you get the eggs right on top of the the uh, usually it's an English muffin, and sometimes there's ham with it. But fantastic! If you never had it, order it, get it. It's usually a breakfast food. But enough with that. So ha happy National Eggs Benedict Day! Now, getting into the shave, let's talk about what we're profiling. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chill Mill. This is by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Otherwise, Doug Smythe. Came up with this little bad Larry here. Now, what exactly is this? Well, this is how we can mentholate this. I'm using Zingari shave soap today. I'm using Nomad, the Sweet Bay Lime and Rum. This currently is not mentholated. I've taken a sample out. I've put it in a bowl. I'm going to do a bowl lather today, and I'm going to mentholate the hell out of it right here. This is how I'm going to do that. Now, the way this works, this is basically a glass salt shaker. Uh, it's one of the salt shakers that you put the coarse salt into and you turn it and grind it into your food. Well, that's essentially what this is. Uh, it's got the cool little label on it here. I, got, I look, kind of dig in this a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, the way it works is you take the top off. It's just a plastic top. comes right off. And that exposes the bottom. And basically, you turn it and grind it into... I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's the menthol crystals. You grind it right into the soap that you're going to use. You're going to use it in. Now, the way you do that is you take the soap sample or puck, which I have actually had this kind of soaking a little bit. It's a little bit, still a little wet. I'm going to dump the, the uh, water out. I'm going to dump the menthol crystals in that I want to use, shake them in there, and I'm going to lather it up and do it up. Now, as far as the shave is concerned, we're just going to go Gold Dollar, Gold Dollar Straight Razor right here. I've been using this thing for a while. I've been getting great shaves out of it. I'm going to stick right with that. As far as the post shave is concerned, we're going to use the matching post shave balm right here. And I'll probably throw on a little bit of Witch Hazel just for good measure. I do that a lot. The Witch Hazel really works well with my skin, and I'm in badly need of a face shave. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this shave going. We're going to lather this up and uh, throw on some menthol into the, into the lather, and we'll see what we get. We'll be right back. Like chocolate and peanut butter, according to Douglas Smythe over at phoenixshaving.com, this is the Chill Mill. The combination of menthol crystals and the mechanics of a salt mill. Why a need for such a device, you say? Ever want to have a mentholated shave, but the soaps you have either don't have enough or contain too little menthol? This solves that exact discrepancy. Simply take any shave soap you wish and add as much or as little menthol you desire by grinding the crystals over the pre-wetted puck or soap sample. Then create your lather as usual. The chill mill comes as a glass jar attached to a plastic grinder pre-loaded with 1.6 ounces of menthol crystals with a removable cap. This glacial gadget just hit the market and is currently available at phoenixshaving.com for $14.95 with available replacement crystals at $2.95 for a 2 ounce package. This works well for me as I am now able to turn any shave experience into a fantastic frosty flight of frozenness. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back as I discussed earlier, we are profiling the chill mill and the soap that we're using to use this chill mill with again is zingari man right there nomad so i've taken a sample out of that pushed it into my bowl put in a as far as the amount i probably i put in like two or three turns of the of the chill mill itself i, I didn't really measure how much went in there uh, according to the package directions and from what i've seen online you can uh, a little goes a long way but I like a lot of menthol, sometimes, not all the time, but a lot of time. So here we are, we get this lather going on right here. Definitely can smell the menthol in it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and wet our face and get this shave going here.
Okay. So we'll do a, la a lather right here on camera, and then we'll, uh, as we always do with our other videos, we'll, you know, finish out the shave and see how it works. Definitely smell the lather or smell the menthol in here. Absolutely, I can feel that cold. I can actually feel it in my eyes as well because I added so much to it. That works for me. The amount of menthol that I'm getting off of this is probably similar to that of margaritas in the arctic by sterling the amount of menthol in them you know so you can methylate a soap quite easily with this so we're going to go ahead we're going to get this shave going and uh finish it out and we'll let you know how it works uh for the rest of the shave i'm not going to add any more menthol to it i'm just going to continue the shave as is and it's not recommended that you add any more menthol you just add some in the beginning and then if you decide you want more the next shave you just add a little bit more and so on and so forth so let's do this up and we'll see what we think cuts or anything like that fantastic fantastic shape as far as the uh, mentholation is concerned I don't even know if that's a word but it is today absolutely fantastic it's so mentholated in here my, my eyes are watering which to me I absolutely like I think it's great again we're profiling the uh, the chill mill right here did only did a couple of turns onto it got it right into the soap sample that I had put aside for myself and that is what we had. It was definitely mentally throughout the entire shave. It did not let up once at all. And I understand that that's part of the mentholated crystals. I get that as well. But I mean, to his credit, this thing grinded them up perfectly. I mean, I'm sure you can get them and smash them. I've heard people doing that. But for me, this works exactly the way I need it. It's got, it's very simple to use. It has everything all in one area that I, or one container. I don't have to worry about storing it anywhere. It's there. It's ready. It's rocking and rolling. And I can add it to any soap that I decide whether it's you know I noticed a lot of cologne based soaps don't tend to have menthol which is understandable that doesn't usually call for them but sometimes I like to have a cologne based 
um, shave that I like to add menthol to. So speaking of which, we're gonna go, uh, speaking of which, the shave, we're gonna finish this up with a little bit of post-shave cream here. And as far as the shave itself, as I said, it was fantastic and no complaints, none whatsoever. Just gonna let that soak in. Folks, if you are into menthol, I highly recommend this little thing here. It makes things so much easier, in my opinion, uh, especially if you want to add menthol. I see people always out there trying to up their game on mentholated soaps. I'll oh, try this, try that. It's This is so much colder. I dare you to try it. But this, you can just turn it up on your own. Crank as much in there as you want and go to town. Um, I did notice that at first, uh, once I put it in there, I kind of had to add a little bit more water than I usually do. I don't know if that was just me just the way I made the lather, or if that has something to do with the menthol. I don't really know how menthol interacts with soap. Um, but either way, it doesn't really matter. It still worked fantastic. It did exactly what I wanted it to do, and it's very convenient. So having said that, a little bit of witch hazel on the face. And that is the shave. Ladies and gentlemen, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And again, as I've mentioned in my other videos, there is a giveaway coming very soon for our 1,000 break of 1,000 subscribers. And again, thank you very much. Folks, if you, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, but when you knock that bell, make sure you do because it, it'll give you a new notification. It'll give you a notification every time you do a new video here at CD Shaving. Folks, I am Chad, thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next